couldn't budge before! Gee, thank you, Captain Obvious. Once again, you've pointed out the obvious. What would I do without you? Hey, Paisanos! This is Chain Gamer 23 Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So in the last part, we explored part of the Spirit Temple as a child, and now we're an adult again. And if you take a close look on both of Link's forearms, we got the Silver Gauntlets equipped. And you might be wondering why I'm back in Gerudo Valley. Well, uh, there's something... Uh, something completely optional. It's like a mini dungeon at Gerudo's Fortress we can try. Now that we got the Silver Gauntlets, there's uh, a trial that we can endure. It's right here. Gerudo Training Ground. Only registered members are allowed. Fortunately, we are now registered members. Well, uh, he is. I don't think Navi counts. This is the Gerudo's Training Ground. Membership card verified. One try for 10 rupees. Alright. Alright, I'll take your 10 rupees. Give it your best shot. And, wow, that's a pretty clever gate. Okay, so we enter. I know we should be going for the main, going for the other part of the temple to try to rescue Nabooru, whatever became of her. But first, we've got time for a bit of a side quest, so let's see. And there's an eyeball switch right above the door, so... Oh. Alright, let's try the Song of Storms. Alright, so when sunlight doesn't work, try wind and rain. If you can overcome the trials in the chambers ahead, then, and only then, will you be qualified to hold our secret treasure. Alright, let's see what this eyeball switch has to offer us. A chest. How fitting. Alright, let's open her up. So get five rupees. Yeah, okay. Alright, I like the lion's head. Okay, defeat all the enemies in a limited time. Only one measly minute. Okay. Oh great, and we got... Sinking sand. We got sinking sand to stand on. God. Down you go. Okay. Pop this just open. Okay, found a small key. Okay, so you'd expect this to have a dungeon map, but this isn't this doesn't count as a dungeon, so it's just a series of rooms full of trials. Alright, so here we go. Gather the jewels of white while avoiding traps and danger. Aren't they technically silver? Whatever. Okay. Nope. Oh, 
Okay, just hook shot up there. Whoa! Okay, so I'm not going up that way. Whoa! Beware the giant chocolate balls of doom. Alright. So, where's the last one? Not there. I'll just wait for the next one to go by. My, you're looking as round as ever today. Alright. You go on to... Oh. This is not the room we wanted. Okay. Without the necessary items, one will be confounded by impossible mysteries. Well, these guys aren't certainly are no mystery. Oh, the albino wolfos from the ice cavern. Alright. You last, Balto. Oh. You were honestly expecting, uh... Okay, well, let's move on. Whoa! Mickey! So, where's the real exit, then? Well, the subtext said mysteries. So, let's bring out the uncoverer of mysteries. And voila! There's an entrance up there. Now, we could have tried this before going to the spirit temple, but now that we've got the silver gauntlets, one with silver hands shall move a giant block. Fortunately, we got the silver hands. So push it real good. With emphasis. Okay. Okay, so we need to activate a switch first. Where could that be? Let's see. Is there one in that alcove up there? Voila! Oop. Okay, let's see what's in this hidden room that we that we wouldn't be able to... Oh! Back off, shield stealer. Alright. Let the like-likes hit the floor. Let's grab the loot. Yeah, who needs those drawbridge chains now? <laughs> okay. Just take it as it is. Alright. But wow! Booby trap chest. 
And on a red carpet, too. Alright, what do we got here? Alright! Well, that topped off our wallet. And I thought there might be something in this last pit. Okay! We got our second small key. Anything else? Didn't think so. Alright, so we enter into the two story chamber. Let's see. It's about time to call in our Scarecrow buddy again. Alrighty. And we ride this... Blind the eyes of the statue. Okay. So that obviously means we're gonna have to shoot some more eyeballs. Knowing how much I sucked at horseback archery. Ooh. Pupils turn red. Oh, I even hear them groaning. Alright. 8 for it. Boom. And just for safety measures. Yeah, I really gotta say, red is a lot more fitting in the, in this, it's not just because of the lava, it's just because of the, it's more action-y. It even complements the silver gauntlets with the white and the red jewels on them. Okay. So, two options. We can either go through there, or up there. Let's see what's up there first. Ah, lovely shot. Come on. There we go. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so... Alright. Small key number four. Really stockpiling them, for sure. Okay. Let us continue on into the next one. Okay. We got a room that's very reminiscent of the fire temple. So apparently my attire choice was not too far off. Find a secret passage in this room. Will do. Come back here, you coward. Not this time. Okay, come to me. What do you hide? A bundle of arrows. Yeah, okay. I 
should have taken me a little way around that menu. I... Okay. Uh, let's smack these totem poles. Aha! Eyeball switch. Oh, and there's a stepping switch. Try this one. Do any of these other statues have anything to hide? Nope. Alright, let's see what this chest has to offer. Another small key! Oh! Okay, so I guess that switch... Oh, I see. That uh, switch... Uh, dissipates the Ring of Fire. Okay, then. Can take leave of this room into the next one. Cross the Sea of Fire. No problema. And while also gathering silver rupees along the way. Oh! Okay. Oh, now he's just floating out in the middle of space there. I wonder. There's a will, there's invisible blocks. Yep. Okay. Right up here. Alright, so we got uh, another small key. We're really piling them on. It may not... Okay, so... So here we have... Okay, so... If you desire to acquire our hidden treasure, you must strive to obtain the keys hidden in each chamber. Okay. So there's nine keys in total. And bum choos. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna save this room for when we get every last small key that we can. Whoa! Probably a good idea to equip the hover boots. thinking it would grab that. Okay, the last one's in that ring of fire, so... So if I just step on that switch... Should... Oh... Seriously, he's just scuffed the souls of these things. in here. Collect the underwater gems. Okay, so we got some time blocks. Let's musically cause them to vanish. Oh, 
all except for one, or... Yeah, all except for one. <laughs> well, we can get in, so... So, Zora Tunic this time. Sink down. Into a room... With... Oh, those killer shells. And... A bloody demise underwater. Oh, don't you don't go twerking on my watch. Can can scallops twerk? I mean, he's shaking. I mean, yeah, he's basically just twerking like that. No! No, 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 no. Okay, I got him. Alright. So, collect the underwater gems. Uh, one, or uh, two, I guess. Okay, so don't need to rely solely on the on the iron boots. No, what? Whoa! But we do have to be concerned about that that swirling current that carries us. In a clockwise, oh, sorry, counterclockwise pattern. Okay. Try it again. There we go. Alright. Got them all. I actually kind of like the design of this this uh, underwater room. I wonder what all those holes are for. Do they used to be windows or something or arrow turrets? Okay, lucky number seven. Eh, I don't like that guy. Just hopping around. Let's get rid of him. Okay, I've just it only goes in the same pattern, so Nope. Got him. Or There we go. Yeah, I don't know. The red tunic just looks so. This looks so awesome. Okay, what do we got in here? Defeat all the enemies in a limited time. Okay. Alright. Okay, what do we got here? Dino foes! Use your shield well and fight with Z targeting techniques! Okay, so these are obviously stronger cousins of the Lizzle foes. Yeah, take these 
Boots off. Okay. Walk along here without trying not to get burned. Get up. Oh, come on. Okay, anything else? Doesn't look like it. Is there anything invisible? Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. What's in the next room? Oh. We're back where we started. Okay then. Ooh. Another chest we missed. Okay, another bundle of arrows. Alright. Yeah, I really love the lion's heads. While we're entering those main doors. Okay, so we got eight out of nine. So you might be wondering, where's the ninth key? This uh, was kind of embarrassing, but I was just fully cons fully of. Uh, I was just fully sure that there was only eight, but I forgot to use the lens of truth here. There's a false. There's a false ceiling here. Yeah, exactly. I meant to say thoroughly convinced. This is never mind part. Okay, so with that, we got all the small keys. All right. So we can unlock every single last door. And get treasures from every treasure chest. Okay. 50 rupees, not too shabby. Yeah, uh, like I said, the red tunic just mixes better with the rustic brown of this... Of this little mini dungeon. So yeah, the main reason I uh, saved this until after we got the Silver Gauntlets was because of that one room that had the giant block. And it looks exactly like the one back at the entrance to the Spirit Temple, so we all know what that means with the Silver Gauntlets. We'll be able to push that thing. doesn't mean our hero won't have any back problems as he gets older, because, honestly... Okay, so we got the Ice Arrow. Alright, set it to C, and your arrows will be powered up. If you hit your target, it will freeze. Because in this universe, one thing is absolute. Everything freezes. Yeah, I'm done. This arrow magic is granted only to those who complete the difficult training of the Gerudos. So use it with pride. Okay. Well. These are actually pretty useless in this game. All they do is freeze enemies. They, they don't really do anything else. But if you want 100%, you you just go for them. OK. 
Okay, make our way back to the start. And while we've got our two spares, let's go ahead and use them. Okay. So everything is been collected. Everything has been cleared. Oop. All except for one. Okay, bundle of arrows. Seen one, you've seen them all. All right. Well, I do believe it's about time to make leave of this place. We got what we wanted, so let's get out of here. So yeah, it really kind of seems like a cheap ripoff to go through all that trouble for something that's not even going to be used much. All for the sake of 100% completion, but... You know, just like a... Uh, well, how about a little test? Well, if that was an enemy, they would be frozen by now, so... But that's basically all it does. I mean, there's... Nothing that requires the ice arrow for for any remaining puzzles or anything like that. You could you could use it to create stepping stones in water, which would probably have come in handy in the water temple, come to think of it. Well anyway. We've gotten what we wanted in this part. And we will be returning to the Spirit Temple in our adult form in the next parts to finally get some business done towards finding out what happened to Niburu and saving her. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, and if you would leave a comment and or like, that would be most appreciated. Until next time on The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This is Toon Gamer 23 signing out. You know, I'm really thinking about loaning these to Mr. Freeze. Well, it's probably a bad idea, but it'd be a cool party. I'm sorry, I can't I can't stop making freeze puns. Now that we've got these.